still looking at me up for that. I'm going to reach out, I'm going to get me time. He's like, 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 Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers and subscribers of the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. Yes, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel is all about saving life and that's our main priority here. Yes, we are not beholden to any political party. party in Jamaica or anywhere but we support the party our government who is willing to make Jamaican people's lives better especially when it comes on to security we would like to see the culture of the people change you know by um, instilling these youths ethics moral decency truthfulness and to get rid of all the muck and this culture erosion that has been taken over and infiltrate our people's mind in Jamaica you understand so you know that's what we're all about here reading and these youths need to read more so you know we are all about saving lives here at the channel at the Jamaica Young Police Channel but some lives are not worth saving they have lived a parasitic life and we're not contributing citizens to the society hence we'd like to find a way to get rid of them by any means necessary the Jamaica Young Police Channel is not for criminal supporters enablers financiers beneficiaries sympathizers excuse specialists and head hunters in criminal underworld at the channel we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel we aid criminals with a passion Yes, especially the criminal police officers. Yes, sir. this is part two, you know, the killing of Roy Fowl and one of British. And we are talking to this man who is one of the, they would say that the big spender who, you know, in the thing, his name, I'm not going to call his correct name, but they call him Cold Breeze. And as you know, it is alleged you know, um, that he's a convicted drug dealer in England. You know, people always say they're involved in music and all kind of thing. We receive all kind of threat, smear, campaign, and all of that. But from people who are connected to them, and look, we can't tell all of you that's one thing. We're not afraid of anyone because we receive the best training when we're in the Jamaica Constabulary Force, and we receive the best training when we're in the United States military. And here in the United States of America, we are the biggest informer. We don't like criminals, period. You understand? So. All of you Ed Unsha who have been try, uh, trying, all kind of things, it won't work. But there's, there's a thing that you call accountability. And you going to account for all of what you have done. So, we we'll continue the journey. So, we want you to listen to this woman. This woman is his sister. And listen to, sell it, yeah, this man, this man, um, his name is Breeze. I want you to listen to his sister. And listen to what she has, she has said. She claimed that she is the stepmother of Tolo, that's the man that Rifle's son had killed, what allegedly. And but the thing is that now, let's put things into perspective. Rifle's son had killed Tolo at a football um, football game along with other men. Let the law take his course, them arrest him and charge him. You understand? But what these people wanted was for him to take his son to them because they are gods, you know. Rifle to take his son to them for them to kill him. Because they are gods. And because he did not do that, they took Rifle's life. So this is all they did now. Uh, how they, this guy, Musa, Musa, Christopher, Brother J. Ebert, an ex police, he was a cadet, we were a cadet together. He's deported from Canada. Yes, Brother G is deported from Canada because he was arrested twice over there. I have a cousin who is a detective over there in Canada. Yes, same last name. See, um, first cousin. We used to live close by each other, and you understand. 
he was the first one in the family to get a bicycle when Uncle Lloyd bought it for him, you understand? This man, Christopher Brother J. Ebert, was deported from Canada, went to Jamaica, I don't know, or him get a clean police record to come to America. You understand? So you know, Jamaica is really a criminal's paradise. So no wonder you know, they're rewarding people that commit crimes and send them to America because they see right now America is easy. Remember, you know, one time in you know, America was the hardest place for you know, any illegal immigrant to come into, you know. America is the easiest place now. What is happening? Why is it so easy for criminals to come in? You understand? So no wonder why, you know, if Chris Christie get the nomination, he's going to become president. Because what is happening now, it's not going to fly with the people. Because Jamaican people do not want these people around them, period. So, you know, we continue the journey. We want you to listen to Cool Breeze's sister and what she's saying about the death of these men. You understand? His sister. Not my sister, you know. none of my family never rejoiced when these men were killed. That yes, my son, I don't know how to put it up on Facebook and how to advertise it loud. Yes, the whole bumbo cloud that town of down at Jummy called Dirty Ghetto Stinking Evil Demons, you know. All I want to sit down with a talk here, there, and here about this, this and that, and this and that. And I come look for my fucking son, them, who don't kill my son, but justice I go prevail. I mean, I don't want my son, them, do nothing to, you know. You know, we see what happened to the whole house, you know. If dirty rifle, son, ne, and him dirty gangster friend, them, never gang up on my stepson, and stab him and kill him, all of this will come fucking about. So, you know, now I say the finger, now I say, look here, it has said, look there, you know, dirty junk, you know, nasty sniper, you know, sniper, you know, when get sniper, no, 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 my son, him sniper, you know, ass. Because there's a higher power, we higher than you know, when him snipe, nobody now can chat to God when him do what him do. I got me serving, you know, me no serve man. You think me, me believe in a man, you know, dirty, I don't know what me, then, you know, dirty, nasty, evil, junk, you know, evil, demon, and evil spirit. When rifle, son, and him gangster friend, him decide to get up and pull and stab him, you know, dirty, nasty, junk, the whole I don't know. I don't know see that. I don't know see say it damn rifle son and him friend them take a innocent life with them not to do with nothing because them too hype and show off and dirty and evil. I bet you don't know see that. But when I don't know, know come try try come to about and me lose my thing in the dang but justice I will fucking prevail. You understand? We don't need the whole of Jamaica bomb clad police and soldier them. Me I will get my fucking just reward for every evil demon. You hear because me who have me have who for fight evil and demons for me. You understand evil people and demons we have who for fight it for me. I don't know and the whole of them for no. Nobody now sees a rifle and him dirty gangster friend him gang up my stepson and, and murder him and stab him innocent young girl where everybody are running me and dirty slimy dirty junk run nasty mouth. Yeah, so that's the man's sister, that's Coolbury's sister, and she's the one there venting about the killing of Tully. That rifles son and his friends allegedly killed at a football match, at a football game. I don't know what's wrong with these youth, you know, if you have some differences, you have, they have to be, there must be a way to work out the differences. Why resort to violence and stab the youth and kill him? That is just madness. And we denounce such behavior by that youth, you understand? We don't support violence. There's other ways to solve your problems. Our biggest concern is that we're not giving credence to killing, to murder another human being. But what we're saying um, in the criminal world, all right, they said that they wanted to, they wanted revenge. Yes, because Tully, Tully um, should not should not have lost his life under such, such such conditions because you know it was a football game they all knew each other and there was no reason for the for him and the others to kill him and they wanted revenge yes we all right well so be the case so if they wanted to kill rifle's son how rifle become a victim now that they kill rifle and it's over Four years now, and Rifle, his son, is still alive. Why they killed him? Why they killed Rifle then? 
So they didn't want to kill Roy Folson. They just wanted an excuse to kill the man because of bad mind. If you listen to, if you listen to Antoine, that's the woman that you have heard. That's her son, you know. So if you had listened to everything, you know that it's straight bad mind why they killed him. Nothing else. That's how ghetto people are. So, we, you know, we continue the journey. So I wanted to continue to listen to the conversation between us at the Jamaica Young Police Channel and Cold Breeze. Yes, you watch, you listen, you decide. I told me not go to the technology. But, 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 but the phone, I tell me, I need to upload another new version of the WhatsApp. Oh. And my daughter did for me. Yeah, me just, just leave them on. Because me and my the kids, them on, she would see me. Mm. Yeah, man. So what, 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 but I, 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 in all honesty, I would have been hope say he would have do, make more progress. Mm -hmm. But as a person, where in a life, not necessarily because you can fly a plane, mm -hmm. your brother or a family member will have that ability to fly the plane. Put it away there. Yeah, true. Everybody, so, seven brothers said in different mind. But you better skip. A day before yesterday, a little virgin, a little youth who I used to live up at my place, called me and tell me, say, I'm say, Andrew. Mm. Day before yesterday, you know what I mean? My virgin, Roddy Dredson. Andrew there, man. But me don't really see them after. Cause I know everybody grown and an adult and I get on with them life. Mm. You know, my, young, my youngest one at 23, you know, so. Yeah. Well, I I I never I never, I never I him I be a him saying on him a boss and him thing and anybody if I listen yeah. that you know say that to me when you listen them two boy listen to me mm. this is this is just me being blunt take me out tight as a as a person you know him if you listen to the first voice note that came out mm -hmm. that to me was too bad mind boy attack and unfortunately. Them, them betray each other by putting out them by store. But them say anything you go on, go on and that must come, come on like, Yes, because I, because I leak it, leak it. That, that, that really has, still is embarrassing to me. Mm. For here, them thing that were him attack out home boy on one's word. Real talk. And them two man is my friend there. I don't make sure I shot and get all and gone for the next shot I country. And me and them have a good save me. I can't tell you that. Mm. But it's really sad for my name. I will not see my name on the something with you guys. Mm. And one of my niece said, I said, Uncle, look at this. I'm see my name headline or something. I said, No, I have to try to reach out to you. When the first one came out, I never paid a mic and I said, Somehow, he must say, I don't really know about it. Mm -hmm. People that I talk about, that is you, I don't know them or know them carry on or them lifestyles. So I can't verify nothing. But where me is concerned, we just know say he don't understand. The only person who know in other thing is my nephew. But when this one comes out now, it's uh, really important. Because, because Bruce, we see that you know. I'm trying to reach out to you. Uh, if, if you only see it in the area, I say, boy, I say, me don't know that, me don't know that, 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 that Rasta man here, you know. I say, me know Breeze, Brett, me know Breeze, uh, brother, yes, brother. Yes, you did. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you hear me say about Wooly, I say about one thing I know about Wooly is a cool man, Wooly is not a violent man and them thing there. Come, alright, you know, say, alright, between me and them thing there, you know, say, is Wooly why your, why your nephew is still alive though? Andrew. Okay. Yeah. But sure enough, I'm on Crystal, I never know that, but. Well, uh, well may I tell you that and them thing there? Is, you understand? Look, look, I, mean, I mean, tell who, um, I mean, tell who, you know, I say, who, you better send him away. You see, my dead, you know. You understand? Can I mean, I give who, you for trouble? Okay. You understand? Okay. Mm. Okay. Because, yeah. you know, who, you have a friend still, you know. Okay, that's good, man. Yeah, man, because I mean, who, you still live in, I see him neighbor, one of them thing there. You understand? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's it really sad, but 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 woman would I love you for do in a, when you research or you do your fact finding. Mm. Try and try and get you know what I mean because watch me now. When my nephew come from the first um 
think and talk about uh, my own country this and censoring the man and yeah, you know, so home boy and I'm a in a home boy and a man and I'm a little people that uh, yeah even him call me, him call him, um, Pepe Goodis in front of the phone and put it, and I tell Pepe Goodis, say I'm me, do this film and do that film. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy and I'm proud. Mm -hmm. But me, not the first one, I go tell nobody, say I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. That's what I mean. Yeah. Because what I do, I do it for me, I do it out of, you know, for the heart, and as a friend. Mm -hmm. You know, do it for try, brag and boast, and well, that's as, not me. When you don't know how to say one thing, when, when you come thing. from, you get one and thing, you understand? I look on it, anybody where can help a friend, who that agree? So, me no different from nobody else. I know some me look on it. Mm. You know what I mean? I love that's my way that to look on things. Cause there are a lot of people where sometimes I will see them are talking about them. Say, you remember know, when you give me this o'clock, so you did that for me? I mean, I do not remember. And I'm not going to lie to you. Mm. Because we don't do it necessarily for remember. I do it because a person in need of it. I mean, do it for them. And you could have given it to them. I was in that position and I could have given it to them. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? Even, even, even if, all right, I want to say, if I was just this bad person, some people would have tried to make up because they hear my name and all them Where do you mean, Mark? Who do you mean? Anjali, Lena British, do you mean? Mm hmm. Yeah. I really tell me, I tell you. Yeah. The reason why the reason why the reason why the reason why the original wife which is Ermin never come to the wedding mm -hmm. is because she just couldn't make it. Me still close with homeboy family and them close friend them. Mm. Yeah man if they they know in inner circle knows it. My good the other day I go down from the island and I'm there down on King Street. Mm -hmm. I'm there walk and who that I walk up in a a man there behind me and shout me. Now Ella, mm -hmm. who's my nephew? Come on, me and them good man. Life and the world. We're good, we're good. They know. Them know the love we have for each other. But it's just people don't know. That voice now that my nephew put out, that is the one that make people, me, people who don't know me, me doubt my loyalty towards my friends them. But what? me you know say. I'm going to say it. And I can understand people who don't really know me why they would have really, you know what I mean? So what uh, okay, so no one asks the reason. So what's the reason for him to put it out and call your name? Like it's you behind it. Listen to me. My question to you is, I do not know. Because if you listen the voice note. Him said, when, and him, I tell you honestly, I don't talk to him since then, but where him said, is him friend him I talk to, mm -hmm. and him friend record him, for example. No, him said, I him said, I him said the voice note to him friend. No, them I talk, no, them was talking, mm -hmm. and him friend record him. Them I talk like how the trio we talk, yeah. and him record him. That's what happened. Mm. So him say him never expect him friend to put it out. But what am I saying was wrong? It goes to show you say him negative towards my brother in them. You have to be honest. Mm. It's not him put it out. It's him friend who put it out. But that's what that, yeah, that look, 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 yeah, look here. Between there and them thing, I understand the part there, but my 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 thing is that uh, you know me, 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 me ask from a from a detective per, um, perspective what is yeah. what is his, his reason for saying that about you involving it and i said boy man a speculator who killed fall and he must sound him sound like him happy say fall dead and and then even after that he might justify him ju you know justify um the reason why he did say that because um Tully dead and his brother get chopped up and all kind of thing and found out what to do with it. That is in the second voice or like I said yeah, that's to what, you, that's I what I'm saying. send a message to him. That's and when I send the message to him, mm -hmm. I talk him why the f him a, where him a do? Mm -hmm. Then him try to polish up him disrespect by explaining himself about all of this and whoever that and start going to it in that way but if you listen to the first voice note that that came out mm -hmm. he 
was talking to his friend like oh me and you is talking now yeah. well, and his friend record the conversation and put it out well that's why I'm asking all right, all right, all right. we know what I Based on what you're saying, I do. I cannot. I cannot say the real. He did not expect. He did not expect that is uh, the conversation would be public. You Thank understand? you very much. Yes. So it was a private Thank conversation. You. But you know what he said. Yes. In, what he said in private, I want it come publicly. Is what he said. In, it was said in private that it it wasn't meant for public consumption, but the public get it. So the public is going right. to dissect it and come to the own one conclusion. Thank you very much. But dear, what is there to dissect about it? The, 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 dissecting it, if you listen to the first voice note, mm -hmm. yeah? That to me was who youth see no, people man. a progress. Hey, Breeze, you're a big you're a older man for me. You know? You're never a bigger man for me. You know? You're not a youth like Andrew. You know? And even no, Andrew, no, no, and no, even Andrew, Andrew, I, I, even, right, Andrew brother, even Andrew, yes. responsible and them thing there, cause from your read certainly you just up anything where you emit out of your out of your mouth that are come from your brain and your heart. So what you oh, think? Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. So that, you know, so, exactly. That, so that's why I am saying, what is his reason for involving you? For say. And literally, he, he may have said, he may have said overtly, you know, he may have said covertly that you have something to do with the killing of the man. And, yeah, and, he have, and then, then now when everything busts out now and everything, he may say, boy, the man, he, he, he did think I'm friend, the man betray him. But I saw it go on them things there with people, you know. I get to me, I get to we all we come from, you know. We come from June Stone. I'm 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 from your, uh, look here, from your, from your nine, me know only and Carlos, and only you still live for my, only be a, only pick me them, you know. Paul and Mark and me and them used to run up and down, you know. Yeah, man, don't um, um, go up, go up and run. No, man, I want a phone. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yes, wonderful. Yes, 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 yes. Only, 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 only baby mother that that a murder sister used to live from Portland West, and them used to live from our part here at, at Cassandra Way with Lenky. Two months, two years. You know, you tell us from your nine. I'm gonna be home. Just call me. Ah, court. I'm gonna tell you what we see. I was brief, brother. Kenji. I'll come. Just call me when you get home and I'll come and see you then. Mm. I'll tell you, man. You say, man, you ain't kept me up. Nothing. 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 Mm. Listen to me now. What I can say to you, yeah? Mm. Me not try to be who me is not. Yeah. How on earth my name get involved with people who do them kind of thing that in other way? It's only the powers of the most I know. People who know me will know that that's got nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. What I am concerned about is people that don't know me mm -hmm. listen to stuff like that and put it in their way and think that I am a bad person. And yeah, you, you, you have something to do with the data, the data, the data, the man. Yeah, yeah. That, that's my concern. Mm. That's my concern, and that 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 is just not me. And I don't know if I can, I don't know if I, if I can convince you or convince anybody else. I know, said man, I call you, I put me on to you. No, said me good. I could never do something like that. Mm. That is just not me. That is not my lifestyle. I do not mm. know. That is not my world. There you go. You know what I know, you know what I know, with, with, I see it, you know. Mm -hmm. As a man over the years now, you have youths, get, garrison youths, get an opportunity to get a better life in a foreign, and before them come a foreign and try to better themselves. Positive with them life, them, they, you know, them get constantly up on phone, 
I feel like them is this and that I come up for and do things and don't mess up. Come here, so sit down with y'all, talk this, that, that, and then two twos, then get no problem. Listen what I'm saying to you. Mm -hmm. This is not me. I do not know. But I, I don't know if I'll be able to tell you how you believe me, but I know, say, my two friends them gone, I'm a day I agree for them same way and it is ever painful to hear my name writing and the nigga stuff like that. And you're calling people name on that video that um voice note that I don't have never met. Mm -hmm. And it would sound based on what I listen on this last voice note that like it's me and them is friend and me and them conspire for the stupidness. That is just unreal. Well, I, I do not know much, but don't know nobody, I don't know the person. So how on earth can I be yeah, involved so with a person? come to the end of part two, you know, the killing of Rifle and one of British. You know, it's a, a, you know, it's over four years ago. Not because, you know, remember, you know, even the worst person in the world, you know, have people that miss them, that have loved ones. And it's good to get to the bottom of things. And have you have listened to us asking, you know, this man, Cool Breeze, some tough questions because... As we have stated before, you know, anything that you have heard on the channel and it's incorrect and you want to correct it, come and correct it. And that's what he has done. And if you have listened to his answers, not only evasive, but you will fill in the blank. It is just simple. If you can think, then you'll be able to come to a conclusion for yourself. If you can't and you're an arg ideologue or an organic robot, people can convince you that snow is shining and snow is falling in Jamaica when the sun is shining because you're that inept of a person and you cannot think for yourself. But we are the Jamaica Young Police Channel. We can think. We can think for ourselves. So we don't allow others to think for us, for us to draw any conclusion or infer anything. That's the reason why they say in the city, they say the best detectives, the best judges, and the best lawyers, and the best criminals are there. And it would be... So, you know, as a true detective, you know, to investigate crimes and to gather evidence, you know, I have been trained to interview suspects and to build cases over the years. It would be a travesty if a convicted criminal were able to outsmart a trained detective like me. Yes. Convicted criminals on the other hands are often very familiar with, with the criminal justice system. They may have been through this tragedy many times and know how to manipulate the system to their advantage. But a convicted criminal cannot outsmart a good detective. It could have serious consequences. The criminal could be able to avoid being caught or they could be able to get lighter sentences. This could put the public at risk and undermine public's faith in the justice system. Detectives need to be aware that convicted criminals could outsmart them. They should be prepared to, steps, to take steps to protect themselves and to ensure that justice is served. So that's why we, don't, we know that there's no honest criminal. So no guy can trick we and set we up with propagandas and lies from where they are. Because with that, hey, you see, once you go that road, we just expose you as being a criminal. You know, when, once you come out with them things there. Because we at the Jamaica Young Police Center, you know, we live by our credibility, our integrity, and our character. So you know, guy try to smear that, that's, you know, you, do, you, you, you make we come out blazing. So you understand. So, and you know, once we do all of them things to protect ourselves, you know, and to ensure that justice is served. So here are some tips on how to outsmart criminal. You understand. So we are telling that you know, there is no honest criminal. So we just are telling this from base and our training and all. And you understand because you know we are trained by the best. Be prepared. Do your research, know your opponent, so you have to know the modus operandi. You know, say them are drug dealer, drug dealer are not honest people, because they are criminal, so you have to prepare, you understand, and listen to them. You can massage them ego to make them feel good and make them feel like you are friends, they are, you are their friends. 
So the detective, you know how to use strategy and different different tactics, how to get things from criminals. You understand? As a, as you have seen, there is no honest criminal because the criminal the criminal record the detective video. You know, I send it to ugly some, and them splice it. But you'll hear that later on. Cause we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. One thing we know for sure from we from we growing up, there is not a single honest criminal. Remember that you know the biggest informers are criminals. You understand? And we applaud we, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. We applaud the man who released Antoine recording. Yes, of him celebrating the death of Rifle and one of the British, and that his uncle Breeze had something to do with it. We believe him because he could not just get up and make up something like that. What? For both him, friend, him, him uncle kill him best friend them. Come on, man. Unless you unless you're born yesterday or you're born, you're born under the moon. You understand? So as a detective, you must always be patient. Don't give up easily. You understand? Be creative. Think outside of the box. Be persistent with your question. And listen. You see, once you ask the question, just listen to the different answers them. That's when you know that they're lying. So we train, you know. Them can't outsmart when a convicted criminal or a criminal can't outsmart. We know when them are lying. Because there's no honest criminal. None. Just remember that. So keep going until you have solved the case. By following these steps, and these tips as a detective can increase their chances of outsmarting convicted criminals and bringing them to justice. So that is what we are all about here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. So expect, expose people in them criminal act. You understand? So if you believe that this man is innocent of being involved in the killing of both men, then you know you post it below. But we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel we have a different conclusion. Coming up, you'll get part three shortly. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.